CDC, FDA, and the USDA all increasing surveillance of the bird flu outbreak in poultry and especially cow herds across the United States. Some of the attention out of an abundance of caution, but there are some potentially concerning updates as well. Dr. Frank McGeorge has been following the developments closely and is here to bring us an update, Doc. Well, you know, Kimberly and Devin, let's start with a summary of the good news. The latest evaluations continue to support pasteurized milk sold in stores, completely safe to drink. Now, here are the developments, some concerning, some reassuring. Starting with a potentially concerning development, a newly released paper in the journal Emerging Infectious Diseases found domestic cats from more than one dairy farm in Texas that were fed the raw milk of infected cows became infected with the H5N1 bird flu virus, and that led to a substantial number of them dying. This highlights the risk of viral spread from cows to other animals through unprocessed milk, and it elevates the concern that every time a new species becomes infected, the risk for mutations that could make the virus more dangerous increases. Now, reassuring developments center around dairy products. The FDA and the USDA are actively testing the commercial milk supplies. In their sampling, one in five retail milk samples did test positive for fragments of virus. However, when they were tested for the presence of live virus, none was found, meaning the pasteurization is effectively killing any virus that might make it into the milk supply. The same agencies have also tested sour cream and cottage cheese samples that tested positive for viral fragment and also confirmed they were free of any live virus. Infant formula and powdered milk samples that have been tested have all been free of any sign of even viral fragments. Now finally, although there's no evidence of viral spread through meat, ground beef will be tested as well. Now, as far as how the virus appears to be spreading so quickly through herds of cows, the USDA actually announced that they believe it's being spread through milk of all things. In particular, when cows are milked using machines, any infected milk that's left on the equipment, that appears to spread the virus to other cows. Yeah. Yeah, that's really scary. So I know yeah. you're following this very closely, and I think we all are paying a little bit extra closer attention to it because of what we've been through with COVID. Exactly, is that, is right? That safe to yeah. Say? yeah, I mean, I think this is definitely an important lesson that we learned from COVID. You know, this is a topic, it ha just like COVID, it has the potential to affect everyone very quickly as new information develops. Now, hopefully, this isn't going to be anything like it, but I think it's better to keep people informed step by step rather than have people basically guess or ultimately maybe even get bad information. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Doc. Sure.